was confusion in court today as the trial got underway for Malik Hill. He is the man accused of shooting IMPD officer Thomas Mangan in the neck nearly two years ago. Hill has chosen to represent himself and I was sitting in court today as things got off to a rocky start. Malik Hill, but officer majors. The trial started with the prosecutor making her opening statement, telling the jury they intend to prove that Malik Hill was the person who shot and wounded Officer Thomas Mangan in February of 2022. You're on drive, Jake. But it wasn't long before Hill, who was representing himself, began objecting to the crime scene photos shown during the prosecution's opening statement. The judge said he didn't have any legal basis. This is actual lie. This is what she intends the evidence but to be, steel. so your objection is overruled. Steel. During his own opening statement, Hill maintained that he committed no crime, but the prosecution repeatedly objected to his statements, and the judge had to continually remind him of trial court rules. I want to apologize for the state of Indiana wasting everybody's time no here. Objection, Your Honor. <coughs> that is not permissible in opening statement as to what you anticipate the evidence is going to be. Judge Angela Davis eventually had to cut him off, saying he'd run out of time. Then came the first witnesses, both of whom were officers who responded to the scene that night. During his questioning, Hill was again on several occasions chastised by Judge Davis. You did it during opening. You did it during the first question that you asked this witness. You may cross-examine him. You may not testify. Yes, Your the objections and chastising continued for the nearly two and a half hours of testimony. By the end of the day, it was clear that patience was running thin. Waving around some documents is not certification. So no, I will not, the court will not allow you to admit evidence that is not authenticated nor certified. Officer Mangan was scheduled to take the stand today, but because of how long all of that stuff took, he will take the stand tomorrow. Instead, court is scheduled to start bright and early at 830 tomorrow morning. Now in the